so now we're going to start calculating the charge. So what do we need? We need several things. I am just going to go back to our document here. You'll notice that we need our mass here. We need gravity. We have both of those. We need our fall velocity and our rise velocity. We need the e electric field. And we need our, um, <clears throat> not say electric field, but it, it's, uh, it's electric electric intensity, okay? And it's given by volts over D, all right? And we need volts. So we're going to put all of this stuff into Microsoft Excel. So we see what we need. Go back up here. So we need mass. And I'm just going to be as systematic as I possibly can be. So we're going to reference our mass cell off of uh, the other page. So we need mass. We need gravity or our gravitational pull. We need the fall velocity. We need our rise velocity. What else do we need? Let me just slide over here. So we have the fall velocity, uh, the rise velocity, and we need E. So we need our electric intensity. And before that, we actually need voltage or our potential difference. Potential difference. And we need uh, the distance of separation between the plates or just plate separation. And we need electric intensity. Electric intensity. Okay. So <clears throat> what I'll do for many of these is just go ahead and wrap all of these and center them and put them in the middle. And so I need to do the same thing for mass and gravity, just formatting, nothing really serious. So we have mass, let's just go ahead and refer to this. So mass is here, we have our mass, I'm just gonna hit return. And then we need gravity, gravity has already been placed in. I am gonna go back in and select uh, the radius, and I believe we put gravity in here, so let's go ahead and grab gravity right here so it can propagate through if we need it to. And then we have our fall velocity. That is also a reference, so we have our velocities on this side. We have our average fall velocity. It is right here, so I'm going to go ahead and put a negative sign. So all we need is the, we should only need the the uh, magnitude and then our average rise velocity so I'm going to go ahead and select that so we have our we have our fall we have our rise we have our gravity we we need our potential difference our potential difference is here it's on the board it's 501 and then we have our plate separation I'm pretty sure let's instead of being just pretty sure let's go here and let's see if we can find this information here so I'm just going to go over here. Uh, D is the separation of plates. And they're going to give us this information as soon. Let me see if I can find this here. Plate separation. I think it's on this page. Here it is. S plastic spacer, approximately 7.6 millimeters thick. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that immediately. 7.6 divided by 1,000. And we're just going to hit return. Okay. So we know that our everything else, potential difference is just going to be in volts. This is the only thing that did not necessarily put in. 
and then plate separation is going to be in meters. So we just configured that or we just converted that over and want to make sure that it's just clear. And then electric intensity is going to be volts per meter and it's based on what we just did. So it's equal to 501 divided by our meters, our plate separation. So we have our electric intensity and the next thing that we are going to need, we just go ahead and go back here, is our fall velocity again. So we have everything now. So now charge it's going to be based on this one equation right here, equation number three. So let's go ahead and do that. We have our denominator. We have our numerator here. So charge. And since we're doing this in um, standard units, and I'm just going to go ahead and put a space in here. When I say standard, that's the MKS system. We are, it's, we're going to go into coulombs. They have other ways that you can measure charge, but we're just going to measure it in coulombs. So this is equal to, and I'm just going to put a parenthesis in the denom, I mean in the numerator. And the first thing is the, let's see, I believe it's the mass times gravity. Let's see if I can grab that. Mass times gravity times the fall velocity plus. And I can just go over here and let you see it. So fall velocity plus rise velocity. Oh, let me make this a little bit smaller. It's difficult for me to grab it when it's so big. Plus the rise velocity. We're going to close that one down. Then we're going to divide this by, and we're going to put our denominator in parentheses as well. Remember that this is going to be E times the fall velocity. So we have our electric intensity times the fall velocity. And our fall velocity is has already been given to us there. So if I pull over here, this should give us our charge. Hmm. This is 2.45 times 10 to the negative 17th power. <clears throat> this is not correct. Okay, I did my best to make sure that everything remained the same. Let me see. We have 7.6 divided by 1 intensity. Let me see. We have g mass times gravity I'm not quite sure what just happened there but let me see mass times gravity if we go over here mass times gravity times the fall velocity times the rise velocity I mean plus the rise velocity divided by the electric intensity times Hmm. Okay, so mass is coming out to be that. Let's just double check. We have density. And then we have our radius there. And our radius, was that predicted right? Usually the radius is one order or one decimal place smaller than this. So we have the square root of b divided by 2p squared plus 9 eta fall velocity divided by 2g rho, which is j2. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm not quite sure of what happened here. Let me double check on Ada. Ada is usually this number right here. B and Ada, those were all Ada is hmm, 1.834 times 10 to the negative fifth. Hmm. So this charge is incorrect. I don't know why. You guys may come out with the right charge, but I'm not quite sure as to why this charge is incorrect. Again, we had 7.6 millimeters, and that's going to be divided by 1,000 millimeters, and so that's going to give us a meter. Double check this. <clears throat> I don't know. But I'll leave it there so maybe you guys can figure it out, and I'll put a corrected video up once I figure it out.